Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and we created this diamond pattern in the part one, and now we're going to create this diamond pattern a little bit different shape. Well, same shape of the pattern, but we, we want some parts that aren't that aren't engraved, some smoother parts. So there's a few tricks in doing that. And, and actually, especially in this one, it's actually got a, a place that uh, we could play around with. It's sloped to the shape of the gun. We're not going to really go there. You could do that very easily. The Probably the biggest thing you want to do is do a lot of testing on this to get this size of the gun perfect. And there are several ways to do that. Let's just uh, let's tilt this gun a little bit and make it a little more um, even across the barrel. And then if, if you have the gun in your hand, uh, you know, measure some things, take your parallel dimension tool and go from like, well, you know what? We could go from that measurement right there to that measurement right there. And you've got 10.53 inches. Now, if that's not correct, then you're going to want to change the size of your gun uh, to make it uh, work. So you could do that with, you know, uh, well, you'd want to keep your ratio, ratio lot. And let's go like 102% or 1.2% 1, 1 bigger. Well... 102% bigger. So what that did, it changed our dimension. And you could actually probably, uh, I think the parallel dimension tool, you could actually get it, put it in some sort of group where you could get this, where it would move along with it. But see, now we're at 1.77. So you kind of play with that. So once you get that done, the picture is the same size as the gun. And, and then I would do some testing um you know, some outline tracing on the pistol grip itself. You know, you won't have it on the gun. It'll be in your laser. But how you get that shape is to take a, basically a two-point line and go from that node to that node and stop. Go from that node to that node and stop. Now up at top, we're going to have a little bit of a curve. So my favorite curve tool is the three-point curve. I'm going to click on that node to that node, and I'm just going to give it that curve. Of course, you'd be maybe take a little bit more time. Now, like on something like this, unless you're cutting the grip out, you don't have to worry about it because it could engrave that pattern over that hole. Actually, on this thing, same, same thing here, but we're going to go ahead and make our measurement perfect. So you could go, and you know, I, I, I fail to mention sometime, you can keep the three-point curve line and then just, get it straight and just click on it and it becomes a two point line. Then we're gonna go from that node to that node and we're gonna give a little bit of curve. Now I'm off a little bit, but the diamond pattern shouldn't really matter. Um, you know, you're just getting the shape of the diamond pattern. Now to get this and we could actually, let's stop the diamond pattern from coming into this area because it basically wanted to be out of focus when it goes to that point. So we're going to get our three-point curve and maybe go from about right there to like right there and give it this little bit of this curve. And then we're going to take, and it's pretty unique that they're using a diamond pattern on the diamond pattern. So get your two-point line and go from there to there, there to there, there to there, there to there, and then do the same thing on the top. Now the top doesn't really have that um, point that's not a, not all the way to the edge of the gun. If this is a little bit of a curve, you know, sideways, but it should not matter. Now let's take our gun and just nudge it out of the way. So now we have this shape. So if we smart fill this, and always when I use the smart fill the tool, I always put a rectangle around just in case it leaks. And I don't have any leaks. And so now our pattern is going to be on that right there. And now what's pretty important after you get this pattern is left click, right click. And we are going to make that a, a hairline in red so we can use it later. I'm actually going to use the one I used later or earlier. Same thing. I just, it, like I said in the very first of the video, it could be a little, a lot of, you need to make it a lot smaller uh, diamonds. Now, when I said about the nudge, 
this is pretty important. Let's see how big this thing is. It's, um, so let's make our nudge like six inches. And we're gonna grab our whole thing, everything, and we're gonna intersect. And then we're gonna nudge that out of the way. And the, the gun is actually getting in our way. So there's our new pattern, but what I meant about the nudge, now we can nudge that hairline around there. <clears throat> you can take this over to the laser and with your door open, and if you're lucky enough to have a red dot pointer, you could have it outline this to make sure you're on your grip. You know, and then you could, and my suggestion on a grip would be to lay it on a board and uh, maybe even uh, double-sided sticky tape it down so it won't move and then kind of rotate the board. You know, if you don't have this thing perfect, you know, if you red dot point a little bit. And even in this case, with the exception of the center, you could overrun the outside because it doesn't matter, but you don't want to overrun the inside. So this needs to be pretty, pretty precise. And that's what I like about the nudge distance because you could, after you do your testing, you could nudge that over and run this on a 3D engraving. Uh, I don't know about all lasers, but an epilogue uh, laser actually has a print uh, utility, I'm gonna call it, that on grade 3D and it helps it. And I have got several videos on lasering in 3D if you wanna watch those. Actually, maybe under, under laser tips and tricks, how to run this and make it, um, you know, really go deep and uh, really go into a, it's a 3D effect in the in the print driver. And one thing I learned a couple years ago, if we would take this whole pattern and actually take this and run a, a light gray and actually the last run, you know, maybe take your, because we used white and white so these might be really sharp points on the gun, but if you go to a gray, it won't affect the black, but it'll take a little bit of edge off that gray. And anything I'm showing you to do, uh, especially with this, test it on a piece of scrap wood before you do it on a gun. And I hope that helped them, and thank you for watching.